Hello everyone, in this session we'll discuss instruction formats. Now instructions are categorized based on the number of operands which we provided to the instruction. Now if we provide three operands to the instruction then it is three address instruction. Similarly it can be two address, one address, zero address or it can be risk type instruction. Now this risk type instructions are hybrid instructions that means it is a combination of two address and three address and one address. We'll be discussing it later on. So over here the type of the instruction format is decided based on the operands. So let us discuss one by one starting with three address instruction. Now the as the name specifies three address instruction means there would be three operands into the instruction. So now these three operands can be processor register or it can be a memory. Now let's see how these instructions are implemented. Now for that let's write one assembly code for evaluating the expression x equals to a plus b into c plus t. Now as we all know that x equals to a plus b into c plus b d in that case a plus b evaluated first then c plus d would be evaluated and the result of both would be multiplied. So in the same way we need to write the assembly language code. So what happens over here, the first and foremost thing is we need to load A. So for that we are writing add R1, A, B. That means the content of A and B which are stored at memory is to be added and the result is stored in R1. So over here the corresponding RTL is written that is register transfer language is written that is M of A that is the content stored in memory specified by address A is to be added with the content stored in memory specified by address B and the resultant is to be stored in R1. So similarly next operation is C plus D so we'll be writing add R2 comma C comma D. So the content stored in memory specified by C is to be added with the content stored in memory specified by D and the resultant is to be added and it is to be stored in R2. So what happens over here now R1 contains A plus B and R2 contains C plus D. So now the R1 and R2 are to be multiplied and result is stored to in X. So we can write MUL X comma R1 comma R2. So what is the advantage of three address instruction? The advantage of three address instruction format is it results in the shorter code. That means the assembly language code which we write is of shorter length. And corresponding the disadvantage what we get is as we are having three operands that is three address instructions. So the binary coded instruction requires too many bits for storing the three addresses. So if we are getting the advantage of shorter code, then we are getting the disadvantage of larger instruction size. So this is three address. Now let's see two address instruction. Now this two address instruction contains two operands into the instruction and they are mostly used in our commercial computers. So over here, the two operands which is specified can be a processor register or it can be a memory word. So again, let's evaluate the same expression using two address instruction. So over here what we'd be doing first is two address. So over here we don't have the third address. So what we are supposed to do is we need to fetch this A first from memory into some register that is R1. So R1 equals to M of A which we had done it using move instruction MOV. Now you would be confused over here MOV instruction is written in earlier example uh, we had written directly add instruction but over here we are not considering the set of instructions which we have studied in our previous chapter. Over here the set of instruction is different. So don't confuse with the set of instructions that means the 25 instructions which we have studied earlier. Now this, as we had also discussed that the number of instructions this de depends on the designer of the processor. So over here we are using move MOV that is move. Move instruction will transfer the content of memory specified by address A to register R1. So A is transferred to R1. Now what we would be doing we would be directly adding the B to R1. So add R1 comma B and result is stored back in R1. So R1 is equals to R1 plus M of B. That means the content specified by address B into the memory. 
is to be added to R1 and result is stored back in R1. So can I say that the result in R1 is nothing but A plus B? Now similarly we need to perform the operation for C plus D. So what happens is move R2 comma C. So C is transferred to R2. Then the D is to be added to R2. So add R2 comma D and result is stored back in R2 similarly. Now what R1 contains? A plus B. What R2 contains? C plus D. So what we are supposed to do now is we need to multiply them. So multiply R1 comma R2. So MUL R1 comma R2 and result is stored back in R1. Now the final stage is to assign the result to x. So the final result is in R1 which is to be assigned to x. So move x comma R1 that means the content of R1 is to be stored to the x that is m of x is equals to R1. So as you can or, or compare that using three address instruction code was of shorter length whereas in two address the code becomes larger. Let's see one address instruction. So one is when address instruction implies accumulator register that means if we want to implement one address instruction then we require accumulator register for all types of data manipulations which are carried out. So let's see how this is carried out. So for multiplication and division there is a need of second register. Obviously let's see an example. So how it is carried out. So the same example A plus B into C plus T. So over here it is one address instruction that means in this case only one operand is to be specified. So let's see how. So the first we would be doing is we would be using accumulator as an implied register and we would be transferring first of all the content of A to accumulator. So how? So load A means the content of A is transferred into the accumulator. Then we need to add B. So add B. So over here the implied register is AC that means AC equals to AC plus M of B. Then later on C plus D. But before do we doing C plus D we need to store this result which we had obtained in AC somewhere otherwise it would be overrided. So what we are doing is store T. So temporary. So at a temporary address T store the content of AC. So A plus B is now stored in T. Now moving further we would be performing C plus D. So first of all load C into accumulator. So load C, then the, it is added with D, so add D and the result is stored in C. So now accumulator contains C plus D. So what we would be doing? Now directly multiplying. So how to multiply that? So for that we would be multiplying T. So AC is containing the result of C plus D and the A plus B was stored in T. So AC equals to AC into M of T using multi and the result is stored back in x but where the current result is there it is there in accumulator so simply store x so the content of accumulator is stored at address x so this is how you can implement one address instruction now let's see zero address instruction now zero address so you would be confused if we don't provide operand then how it would be performing for zero address instruction we would be using stack and for that we don't have any kind of address operands into our add or mul or any other instruction. So we require stack. So we would be using the operations like push and pop for using for implementing stack we are having push pop operation. So we are using we would be using push and pop instructions along with the add and mul. So let's see how. So let us ex evaluate the same expression. So first of all what we would be doing is we would be fetching A and B and we would be pushing it onto the stack. But before moving to that we are already knowing if we want to evaluate the expression using stack we would be converting it to the reverse Polish notation. So this A plus B into C plus B is to be converted to reverse Polish notation and we would can implement this. So first of all we are knowing the reverse Polish notation for A plus B into C plus D is AB plus CD plus and star. So first of all we would be pushing A then we would be pushing B. Now the next operator comes is plus so what we would be doing is we would be add. 
so when we write add at that time automatically it will pop the two operands which are there on the stack on the top of the stack that is b and a would be popped and they would be added and they would be stored in back into the stack so tos equals to a plus b now next c plus b d is to be carried out so push c and push d then again we'd be performing add so add so it will pop this two and result will be added and again the result is to be stored into the stack so now we are having on the top of stack two operas two results a plus d b and c plus d so what happens is now we need to multiply them so mul we would be getting c plus d into a plus b is because c plus d was on the top of the stack the next element was a plus b so they would be popped off and they would be multiplied but the result is stored back into x so pop x that means when we are popping it goes back to the memory so at address x so this is zero address instruction now the last type of instructions which we are supposed to discuss is risk type instruction so in that case it is one kind of hybrid type instruction which is limited to load and store instructions when communi communicating with memory and cpu registers along with that the other instructions do not use memory for referencing as we had discussed in previous type of instructions we were able to refer to the memory using add mul instructions but over here we cannot so for referring to memory we are having only two instructions that is load and store and rest all instructions can be carried out on the registers only so let's see how it is implemented so the expression is x equals to a plus b into c plus d so what happens is load and store and others onto the register so what we'd be doing is we would be loading this a into r1 so load r1 comma a so you can see it is a two address instruction so the content of a is transferred to r1 then b is to be loaded into r2 so load r2 comma b so r2 contains b now we would be loading c so load r3 comma c next load r4 comma d now you would be confused why we have not performed addition in between but over here it is not needed because we are having number of registers more in this type of computer that is risk computer so uh, the number of registers are more so we can the load all the registers at a time now we would be performing the operations so first of all a plus b so add r1 comma r1 comma r2 now you would be surprised it becomes three address instruction so as i told you that load and store are restricted to two address whereas add is restricted to three address all other instructions operates operates on registers so r1 comma r1 comma r2 means r1 is added to r2 and result is stored in r1 similarly for c plus d add r3 comma r3 comma r4 because c is in r3 and d is in r4 so r3 is added with r4 and result is stored back in r3 now multiplication is to be carried out for this because r1 contains the result of a plus b and r3 contains result of c plus d so it is to be multiplied and result is stored in r1 and now we need to store back so store x comma r1 means the content of r1 is to be stored at the address x so this is the risk type instructions so now the question arise where these types or where these formats of instructions are used now it depends on the designer of the processor who designs the processor uses the types of instruction some designer uses hybrid type that means risk type some uses three address some uses two address depends so these are the formats of the instructions